All right, Jeff, let's wrap up crossover Thursday with some keys to victory. Eagles Browns Sunday at uh, one o'clock at Lincoln Financial Field. The Eagles trying to get to three and two. The Browns trying to save their season here at two and four and just keep their playoff hopes alive and try to make life of this uh, season for sure. And again, you mentioned like they're pretty banged up right now. The quarterback is not good. Things are just not going well for the Browns. If they did pull off a victory on Sunday on the road against a 2-2 two and two Eagles team that really needs this football game. How do they do it in your eyes? It's going to have to go back to you know most of the way they won in 2023. It's going to have to be that their defense just went out and was outstanding. The mm-hmm. defense, defensive line just destroyed. The thing with their defensive line last year is they were so great at obviously harassing the quarterback, but they yeah. blew up the running game. This team gang tackled last year. So guess what? When you had a missed tackle, It wasn't that big because you want to know why I may have missed you, but there was a dude right on my hip. He got you. And, but that is not, and a lot of it now it's one guy in space, which scares the living daylights out of me because they have not faced a guy with the athletic ability of Saquon Barkley to this point yet in any of the games they played. So that is certainly a, a bigger headache and exasperating headache that is already, you know, basically expanding upon that is something that has been an issue to this point. If you don't have Denzel Ward, now Greg Newsom becomes a starter. And I don't have that issues with that. But, you know, Greg Newsom, Martin Emerson, nothing but one-on-ones all day long with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. You know, the mobility factor from Jalen Hurts, because obviously it looks like his legs are a lot healthier this year than they were last year. And there were times last year where I was screaming at the Eagles, like, what are you doing? You know he's banged up. And it's your first drive of the game, and it's third and eight, and you're asking him to run the ball. But now he can run when he's choosing to because he feels better. He's healthy enough to do it. Um, it, 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 This game just scares me. And the other thing is it's their third straight road game. Their first one, they played close with the Raiders. They got smoked last week by Washington. And now here's the third one. And the problems and the issues just continue to exasperate and just get bigger and more as far as number wise of issues. Mm. And now you have a team where Philly – and look, it's not always great to have that early bye week, but I think there's a good chance they wouldn't have had maybe Brown or Smith or either one or the other. or maybe I think they both. needed this one. Yeah. 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 So I, they got that extra yeah. week early. Now your offense is going to go out there on full tilt talent-wise. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would take a miracle. But if it's going to happen, it will be because of the defense. Yeah, and I think it would also be because the Eagles just continue to shoot themselves in the foot, and that's what they've been doing all year, and that's why I think for the last two years they haven't been able to win a convincing football game where they win by multiple scores and they have the lead the entire time. I mean, they barely held a lead this year, Jeff, even at 2-2. and So a lot of that's because they have the second or third worst turnover differential in football, and that has a lot to do with Jalen Hurts, and the turnovers are a lot worse than last year. He's turning over the ball in his own zone, uh, in the red zone, just plays where you got to have it, and he's not taking advantage. So for the Eagles, just to make sure they win this football game, get out of your own way. Stop with the turnovers and start faster. Like There's no excuse, again, coming out of a bye week that they shouldn't have a good first 15 plays where they can get a lead. They haven't scored a point in the first quarter this year, and that's just unacceptable for the talent they have. So I think the Eagles, like again, the way to win this football game is just get out of your own way. And then on defense, again, like don't show Deshaun Watson respect. I really just, it drives me nuts. It wasn't just Vic Fangio, but it was Sean Desai last year. And it was Jonathan Gannon. Even Jim Schwartz in the past at times just would get chewed up by inferior quarterbacks. And I just hope that, I mean, Watson has looked so bad this year I really hope the Eagles don't continue to let these quarterbacks that look terrible against other defenses look like stars against them. So I'm not saying that's what I predict, that he's going to light up this t- defense, especially with Cooper DeGene starting in the slot now. I love that decision. Um, but again, it's it's been hard to have a lot of faith in this defense after the first four games. There's no question about it. And, you know, look, you need to get better. You need to improve as the year goes on. It looks like the Browns, they are they are getting less talented as the weeks go on. Philly, maybe it was a break at the right time. And, you know, hey, that's always the type of thing. And, you know, that would be the plan for Philly. It's going to be a tough one for the Browns. And, you know, if it's not this week, it might not matter.